Mike McCool here with the Royal Examiner. I'm on location at the famous LD's Pancake House on Main Street. You see how I got famous in there? Famous. It is famous. <laughs> it's the only place I know in town that can close for a month in the summertime and they don't tell anybody and the day you open you're packed. Yep. So, um, and that's what happened this week. So tell us, uh, you've been open for a few days. We just opened yesterday. It was our first day back and we've had a su successful two days. Um, a lot of people have been really re perceptive, receptive. Sure, sure. No. <laughs> Keep going. Receptive to us returning. Um, we've had a lot of people calling for carryout orders and a lot of people just ready to venture out. So right. we're, we're really happy with the turnout. Right, but now you're working in a 50% capacity. Yes. How's that working for um, It's been a little difficult. We um, sort of have to manage, you know, trying to get everybody in and out as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody seems to be patient and understanding of the current situation. Sure. So yeah. I can smell the anesthetic or the, the disinfectant. Yes, we're taking a lot of extra precautions. We're cleaning, cleaning, cleaning in between tables and um, just sanitizing whenever we have time. So everybody is following orders, wearing their masks, gloves, and we're just trying to keep things extra clean for everybody. All right. You have the paper menus. You got the individual packet of yes. salt and pepper. Yes. There's nothing on the nothing tables. Nothing on the tables. So uh, they're complying to the to the. Uh, the governor's uh, and the CDC guidelines, so it's great. Really appreciate it. I just want to know that their food is still as good as always. Right? Yeah, we're offering our full menu and we're going to be open our normal business hours for dine in and carry out. So, so that will start. Well, today is Saturday, right? So you have Sunday, Monday, then you'll be closed, closed on, Tuesday. on Tuesday, but we're open six days a week. Yes, that'll be great. Everybody loves the LDs, Thank I know. Uh, we'll give a plug to Mom's restaurant because we went there Thursday because yeah. they were before you opened. I called her on the phone and said, are you open? She said no, but uh, so I heard Mom's was open and David has done a great job remodeling over there. Uh, yeah. does, it's great, so check out Mom's. Uh, but uh, you guys always keep this place clean and freshly painted and I know your dad has been busy. I've seen him down here cleaning the, yep. the last couple yeah, of months, so it's great. Yep. So all our local restaurants are opening back up at least 50% capacity and they have their outdoor dining. So please uh, visit some of these local restaurants. We have LDs here, Mom's over there, the Front Royal Diner. I heard the Hometown uh, Diner is opening soon. Opening soon. Yeah. Uh, the Mill Restaurant has expanded their outdoor seating. Yeah, everything on Main Street seems everything, to be open. Everything so. on Main Street yeah. is, is working, the brewery and the Thai restaurant and the Royal Spice. So we got a lot of places to go. They've been closed now for over two months, almost three 11 months. 11 weeks, almost 11 three months. So yes. uh, they can use our support. So get on out. It, it was nice. I had Mexican lunch the other day at the Nuevo Ranchero. And it's kind of, you know, I was the only one in there, yeah. my wife and I. But it is nice to sit down again and it share a meal feel and feel, feel that normalcy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, please venture out when you can if you feel it's safe. And uh, remember, you have a choice, so be careful and uh, venture out and support some of these local businesses because, uh, uh, you know, we're all, we're stronger together. That's exactly. what our chairman, Mabe, says. We're, we're stronger together. Thanks again, Katie. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And I'm glad you're open. Thanks. We are, too.